Hello everyone. It's a some guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Evergreen. And welcome back to the 1 million chicken challenge now. We kind of unofficially launched this on a stream last Wednesday. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description and I'll put it in the uh, top corner here now. Um, it was a bit of a test run because we set some stuff up, but we were just going about our business making sure that everything worked. And we found a few errors. First and foremost was that the combine unloaded incredibly slowly so we've tweaked that slightly so we've got a little quicker unload speed um, we also hadn't set up any auto drive courses um, and also we had an issue where the height of these trucks meant that the auger wagon wasn't going to work for them so we found a solution which i am incredibly pleased with so we've got these loading ramps so what we've done and i'm going to come over here and i'll just give you a quick demo with one of these auger wagons we're going to run the two auger wagons now we've run a lap uh, around the field two-way course around the field so hopefully when they've been to the combines they can uh, make their way back here but as you can see here we've got a couple of unload courses you can see the blue two-way course that goes right the way around the field and what happens with these and i'll just run it now and we'll see what happens um we'll go to the platform unload so it'll loop around here Genuinely, I'm very pleased with this. And it will go over to the trucks. It will unload at those. Like so. We've got enough height now. In our auger pipe. But we don't have any issues. I think this could work really, really well. Now, we've got to hope that these two auger wagons can keep up with the five combines. I'm going to put one auger wagon on the first two combines so they can keep up with things and then i'm going to put the second one onto uh, the last three combines so there we go he's in weight position we'll turn him off for a second um we'll turn the trucks on we'll get everything switched on but before we do that if you missed the episode the other day uh, the live stream let's give you a little bit of background we have got new bins as well as you can see here we need bins that could tip because these trailers are uh, articulate they'll tip up rather than hopper bottoms so we needed something that didn't have a cover over it so these work really really well these are from the agi pack and they both hold about five million liters each because the other thing we found in the original bins is they only held about two hundred fifty thousand liters so uh, not good enough for what we needed for this little uh, exercise. So we've kept that one because it had a lot of uh, crop in it. But we'll maybe transfer that out at some point. But what we'll do now as well, we'll head down to the chicken barns. Because there was a few issues with those which I think we've resolved now anyway. And like I said, if you weren't there for the live stream the other day, let me explain how we're going to handle one million chickens. Because it's a lot. And I still don't know whether it's going to be possible. But... I'm all for giving it a go. So, let's jump in the truck. Let's head down to the chooks and uh, we'll take things from there. So here we go. We have done a few updates. We've got 18 sheds here, each of which will hold 50,000 chickens. So we are sure we do need to build another two sheds before too much longer, but there is enough here to get us started. What we've got is 25,000 in the first shed, or we did have 25,000 in the first shed. We've started to transfer a thousand chickens into each of the other sheds. We still need to do some more of that, but we have got chickens and feed in each of them. But this first shed here is our kind of beginner shed. That's got the most chickens in at the moment. That's the one that's producing the most eggs. So eggs is our other problem we have eggs being produced at such a rate that if we don't get them loaded and out of here we have got a problem originally the load point was in here it only stacked too high they are leftovers from before we did the update but they are leftovers from the earlier version of the shed this is the new version and as you can see we have got the eggs being stacked outside now, but we do still have enough space here to get the truck alongside them. So what we'll do now, just to give you a little bit of a demonstration, it's very possible that uh, 
We've got some eggs stuck under this truck, which we might need to pull out. Oh no, there's just the one here. Um, this is not a great place to park this truck, but we'll be able to move this out. So, we've got the curtain side open here. And what we were going to be using is Loki's um, universal auto load on this truck. So, we can now get, I'm kind of hoping, thanks to Mark Thor, we can now get the eggs stacked three high and three uh, deep. And they should all be within the trigger for universal auto load. So, if I do this, um, actually, we've got some eggs on here as well, actually. So, let's unload those. And let's uh, start loading. There we go. This isn't full yet, so as soon as this is full, we should be able to load that up as well. It's only going to take full pallets. But, like I said, there's one of these on the outside of every shed, and we have got enough space between the sheds to get the trucks down. Um, there's our food as well. They will take a maximum of 200,000 litres of food, um, and they tend to get through... When these are full, we'll get through that in a day. 25,000 hens, which is what we started off with in here, we're getting through 100,000 litres of wheat a day. So um, it doesn't look like uh, 25,000 in there, but trust me, there are 25,000 of them in there. So um, we've got a lot. We've got a lot on our hands. But it's going to be fun. Our trailer there carries 500 chickens at once. So we are able in two lows to get our thousand, like our, our seed chickens, if you want to call them that into each of these sheds. That is a job we do need to do at some point, but our biggest priority is getting all of this wheat off the fields and into storage so we've got enough to feed these uh, chickens through the winter because, to be honest, I don't know if we're going to have enough. Even with all of these uh, wheat fields, I'm not sure we're going to have enough. Um, I did consider buying this third field. I thought I had, actually. But that is the only one we don't own, the one on the right here. The two biggies on the left are ours. So uh, we're just going to have to get the wheat off those and see how much we've got at the end of it and maybe do some rough calculations as to see uh, just how much we've got. But if we haven't, uh, we've got issues. So let's get over here. Let's fire up these combines and let's get the job going. Um... This has been a real fun challenge with auto drive as well and course play. I've never used it on fields this big. Slightly worried but might have some issues with distances and detections. But I'm all for giving it a go. Um, we also have a third container trailer there if we need it. I don't think we'll need it for loading. Each of these containers takes 79,000 litres. So, uh, and the auger uh, wagons take 50,000. So... Uh, we should, I think, stay on top of this. I think it's the distance from the combines to the auger wagons and the trips that they have to make that may slow us down. We may have some combines waiting for longer than we would like in the field, but we've just got to give it a go, right? Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to switch these on first, then I'm going to trigger the combines one after the other. I'll probably start at the back and work forward, so when they move away, they move away in unison. But for now, let's just switch these on and uh, see how we go. So we've got field three weight, and this one here is on field three weight two. We've got two weights, but they both go to the auger platform, both on combine mode, both empty. Let me just check I've got this on the right setting. Yeah, combine mode. So, looking good. We need now to fire up the combines. Now the combines are relatively full. Um, the other thing I want to point out just before we go over is that I have got two trucks lined up here but only one of them is loading. I did think you could load the two of them separately but actually my thought process was if you can fill this one as quickly as possible um, and the auger wagon still has some grain in it that one will move away and this one will move into place anyway. The alternative was having two trucks half full um, and nothing going into the silo. So actually, I kind of think that's the best approach. Um, we'll see how it goes anyway. We'll see how it goes. Um, this ghosting is terrible at the moment, isn't it? This is DLSS base. You can turn this off, but obviously it has an impact on your uh, game performance slightly. But uh, 
yeah i've been i've been playing around with that for a while now so if anybody has got any ideas how to keep the lss on but lose that ghosting look at it coming off the edge of the silos there if anybody's got an idea of how we can sort that i'd love to hear them because i am stumped i've tried enough times to work it out read loads of articles but not managed to sort it yet so um there are the combines all five of them let's head over let's get them all fired up and see how we get on i've got an interesting bit up at the top here not all five combines are going to go through here and we have got this um power line or a telegraph pole in the field which has given us a an interesting um course play route it shows one of the combines running through the yard so we might just have to keep an eye on that and make sure that works but let's head over the combines and see how we get on right i've had a change of heart these combines are not a million miles away from being full so i think we'll go down with the auger wagon we'll get them unloaded give them the best chance of getting started and then we can run this back to the yard and uh, get it unloaded so uh, let's do this manually to start with there we go everything in jobs are good one. and look at that unload speed now that's more like it huge auger on this so we're getting rid of uh, that grain out of the tank very very quickly now if we just run back over to here let's check that is 34 percent so we can get three combines just about unloaded into this before we need to go and unload it back into a trailer in the yard so i'm going to put the first two on the, this auger wagon i'm going to put the back three on the other one um and we're just going to see how it goes i've just now got to turn all of these on so let's set this to uh field three weight there we go we'll check the second one is on field three weight as well i think i did set this one no i did not we'll send these two on their merry way so nearest waypoint left to go there's a little bit of delay because it's such a big course and such a big field there we go nearest waypoint left one eat us go two okay back in the fence we better turn this on he's gonna drive to destination and on his way we'll jump out and we'll trigger this one so this is gonna be field three weight two we might as well send him to nearest weight point now the tractor's going to reset himself the tractor's actually going to do a full lap of the field before he starts now which is a little bit frustrating but that's that's somehow what auto drive does just to get itself ready if we were closer to that it wouldn't have been an issue but by the time he gets there hopefully the combines will be just about getting round to the top of the field by the farm anyway so maybe we won't have to wait that far these fields are huge though honestly i can't tell you how big these fields are oh, scarily the first combines already stopped and our tractor's still working its way around the bottom of the field there Oh, beg your pardon, our second combine has stopped. He's full already. Our first combine's getting a bit further ahead, but that's okay. I actually prefer a little bit of distance between the combines. Helps for unloading. So let's see how this goes. So there you go. He did take a little bit of a detour around the field, or through the field even, but he's avoided combine one. And he is lining himself straight up here. This is looking promising. If he can reach, he's too far out. That's interesting. He needs to get closer to the pipe. Let's see what he does now. There we go. He's looped round again. Yes, he did go through the crop again. I'm going to turn uh, avoid crop off. There we go. He's unloading. Great stuff. Now it looks like our first fent combine just over there is full as well. And our other auger wagon has gone to get him. So 
as soon as this kind of works itself out, we might be we might be looking good. Let's see how it goes. So we're in the second combine now, or the third combine, big part, the second one for the second wall wagon, and uh, he's worked out that he needs unloading as well at 90%. So he's pulling in here. He won't go in that way. He'll loop round again. So let's see if he'll line this up. This works better when they're moving. But uh, so far, everything we've set up is working. Again, he's going to be too far out this time, so he's going to have to re loop round again. But we'll get there. I've never tried these Kinsey wagons before either. If we head up to our top combine up there, it looks like the other one is getting unloaded as well. Actually, look what's happened here. He's done that uh, telegraph pole quite nicely. And the fence is just trailing him. So he's not unloading the second combine though, which is interesting. I thought he might unload the second combine. You might be going to do them there, though. Okay. This could be working. This could be working. Let's hope we avoid this uh, fence as well. Kind of hoping we will. Looks like we're just about going to. These headers are so much wider than normal headers there. With the aerial on. But yes, looks like the fence going down to the second combine, so let's keep an eye on that as well. So here's the second combine full, and you can see our second auger wagon down there just getting organised to get unloaded that third combine. So actually I think they're going to unload every single one. A little bit of getting organised. But now they're organised, things are looking good. This fence has aligned himself a little better here. Is he close enough? He is just just so the next thing we've got to hope for when this is full is that uh, this fent will go and unload into one of the trucks let's see what happens so we've just jumped into this fent he's 100 percent in he was planning his course he's now exiting the field uh, and he's making his way back to field three weight so we're going to go and turn the truck on and wait for him to arrive and see what happens. Here we go, back in the yard as combine number one comes around the corner. And you can see there, there is the fent. We're going to jump into this front truck. In fact, we'll jump into both of them. Make sure they're both switched on. Let's do this one first, actually, as we're here. So, truck platform load. So, it's going to the first point. And the same with this one. Truck platform load, which he is sitting at already. So... We can just turn this on. So there's the auger wagon. Hitting his trigger point, turning round. Now we should come and unload in here. He says, hopefully. He should. If I've done this right, he should. Oh, there he goes. He just moved his trigger. All we need now is this call is this uh, auger wagon to come up here. Pop his pipe. This is going to work. How exciting. And look, the second auger wagon's back too. And the AI worker A is full grain tank as well, so we need to go and unload again. The problem is here, we're just keeping up with the combines. Um, one thing I have learned is I think probably for the next field, we'll run three combines. It might take us a little bit longer, but equally, we'll... Uh, We'll not have combines sitting in the field waiting. So here comes second auger wagon. Just getting ready. This first one finishes unloading. We're going to get 60... We're going to get a lot into this. There we go, 65% in. So, like I said, two auger wagons that will just about fill one truck. Well, more than fill one truck. But hopefully the second truck will roll into place and this one's gone, but this is working really well. Just a little bit of setup there, but now we're good to go. And there we go. 
So he'll go back, hopefully. I'm lost now as to who's full and who isn't. Our second combine there is full, so he'll probably go over to him. He's going to roll forward a little bit here to his trigger. I'm actually going to jump out of him and just watch as this second truck hopefully moves into space. And he is. Oh, happy days. This is working well. There we go. And if I go over here, he should be dumping into the silo. Great success. Okay. It's running. It is running how it, we intended it to. Our other fent went to combine number one. He seems to be favouring combine number one. So actually, combines one and two, I have decided I'm going to put a... Uh, tractor and an auto wagon on each of those now I'm going to do a little bit of a quick fix here rather than um, rather than set up a full course so let's go to combine here what I'm going to do here I'm going to call this field 3 weight 3 but I might put it just around here somewhere like this it's not ideal I'd probably have a third course running but speed must be of essence here so you see what's happened here the three combines behind are stuck waiting because this guy is uh, full but nobody's come to get him so field three weight three he's got his own dedicated tractor now who will come and unload him so combines one and two have dedicated and then combines Three, four, and five have just got an auger wagon looking after them independently. Let's see how that goes. Right, we'll just wait and see if this fent appears around the corner now. Well, interestingly, not the guy that I was expecting to arrive has arrived, but uh, it'll do. I'll take it. As long as we're unloading, I'm happy. Right, we're still loading. We are still doing okay. Um, having three combines running off one auger wagon has maybe caused me a slight issue in terms of uh, we're getting combines stopped when they uh, should be unloaded but I can see over there there's somebody going to uh, pick him up straight away though so maybe maybe we have cracked this now we shall see but we're getting through this field you can see combines and auger wagons everywhere it's great Right, let's roll this into spot to unload. As you can see, we've got another tractor running on auto drive behind us pretty well. Um, we have added a fourth tractor as well, which has uh, helped things a little bit, but I, I just think maybe the size of the field and the speed that the combines are filling up means that they aren't getting the chance to uh, keep up with the uh, auger wagon. So I think maybe in the next field we'll run with three combines. Um, we'll maybe slow the speed of them down so I don't know I don't know what point um, slowing the speed down is inefficient as opposed to running them all the time compared to having them running a bit faster but having to stop because the auger wagons aren't getting to them in time so it's a good experiment though I do have to say though it has been really good fun this auto drive and course play are the things that are behaving pretty well it's actually just the ability to keep up with everything that's causing the issues We'll turn that back on now, I've unloaded it. Look, we've got another truck going. I mean, the trucks have been faultless. They're unloading as and when they need to. Look, there's another one rolling into place now. Get the rest of that auger wagon. And that one's rolled over and is going to be tipping any second now as well. So, we're doing all right. We are doing all right. Well, folks, after my little chat before... We have been singing recently. Everything seems to have been running like clockwork. Everything's loading up and everything's uh, attached to a certain uh, auger wagon. But look, the pipe's just come out on this first combine here. And look, the fent over there has responded and is heading down. Here comes the second pipe open now as well. So they're doing their pre-call as we speak. And you can see the John Deere just behind is moving as well. So everything, um, now we've got into the rhythm of the rows is working a treat so i'm going to push on um there's a lot of this field still to do this is taking time to 
if you think generations, I've been saying it took a bit of time with generations because uh, the vehicles are so small. Well, with this, it's the size of the fields. But look, you can see there, two other combines moving into place. Auger wagon bouncing between those two as well, very nicely unloading as and when he needs to, which is great. And I think if I span right around here, our fifth and final combine is... Yep, he's just over there, and he's been tailed by the other Fent as well, so the 1100. So everybody's getting looked after here, and every combine is moving. We finally cracked it. So from me, the Farmson guy for now, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me on this. Uh, I am really enjoying the challenge of this, I've got to say. Um, but I uh, hope you come back for another one of this soon, and we'll keep growing the chickens. We're a bit of focus on the fields at the moment, trying to get the food in. But we'll focus on the chickens a little bit in the next few episodes as well. Get them shifted over into the right pens and, uh, yeah, get things started from there. So, uh, thank you again. Take care. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.